Hey everybody, welcome back to Z3 Programming. And today we're going to be going over repetition structures. We're going to go over the while loop, the do while loop, and the for loop. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Visual Studio, create a new project. It's going to be a console app. And I'm going to call this repetition structures. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, before we get started, I'm going to enter in the console.read line so I can get that out the way. And let's see. First thing we're going to go over is the while loop. The while loop executes a statement while a specified condition evaluates to true. First, I'm going to type a, an integer variable. I'm going to call this variable my bank account balance and I'm going to set that to 25 and now I'm going to type while and I'm going to press tab tab so Visual Studios automatically generates that text for me so as I said earlier the while statement executes a block when the specified condition is true so whenever this is true this whatever is in here will run so what I'm gonna type in I'm gonna type my bank account balance greater than or equal to five so whatever we put in this state in this block will run if my bank account balance is greater than or equal to five so I'm gonna type console dot right line I'm gonna do dollar sign quotations I'll do my bank account balance dollars left in my account and then I'm going to decrement my bank account balance if I don't do anything to that it would only really run once essentially so it's gonna run while my bank account balance is greater than or equal to five I'm gonna run this and see what it does let's see as you can see the console prints out this statement I have $25 left in my account it actually says my account it's a typo but you get the deal it says $25 in my account and it goes all it prints all the way down until it reaches $5 left in my account that's an ex that's a perfect easy example of the while state while statement so let me type fix that my that's the while statement next I'm going to show you the do statement. So it's very similar. Let me comment this out real quick. I'm going to leave that integer variable there. Now I'm going to press do, type do, tab, tab. The do statement executes a statement while a specified condition evaluates the true. This is basically the same thing as the while, but the do tells the block of code to generate then it will test the while to see if it's true so this code will execute first then it will test to see whatever your the condition that you're testing for and if it's if it meets it it will continue and if it doesn't the the execution of that of this statement will cease to end it will end so I'm basically gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna copy this from up above I'm gonna paste it in here let me comment this take this comment out and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say go into the statement while statement and say my bank account balance is I'll do 
while my bank account balance is less is greater than five. Let me add equal sign. Run that. As you can see, it printed just like the last one. $25 left in my bank account all the way down to $5 left in my bank account. Now, so what it did is it ran this block of code first and then it tested to see if the condition was met or not. It's very similar, but it's different because whatever's within the do block, it actually executes first before the while statement. And sometimes you need to be careful when doing this because it might cause a bug in your program. For instance, if this was zero and we ran this in this do while statement, it would run at least once and you wouldn't want it to, depending on what your program was programmed to do, it really depends. So to show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna print this out real quick to the console and it printed once and it says zero dollars left in my account. Okay, that was it for the do while loop. Now let's get into the for loop. For this, I'm gonna comment out my int variable and I'm gonna create a string array. If I could type, I'm gonna call this array famous people and in my array I will have Will Smith I will have Donald Trump I will have Hillary Duff <laughs> I will have Fred Savage I will have Bugs Bunny. <clears throat> I think that's enough famous people in my string array. And I will type four. Tab, tab. And this brings out the syntax for a for loop. The for statement executes a statement while a spe specified condition evaluates to true. Basically, the same definition is just slightly different. It has an iterator that goes through. That's the first part of the for statement. It tests I and it will run while I meets a condition. And then it will, the next part, increase or decrease depending on how much you set it as. <clears throat> so I will change length to famous people dot length then I will go inside the block I do console dot right line and I will type famous people I and this will print all the famous people in the array to the console so now I'm gonna run this program now as you can see it prints Will Smith, Donald Trump, Hillary Duff, Fred Savage, and Bugs Bunny. Those are all the people listed in the Famous People Array. This is a simple example of how to do the for loop. I also want to show you guys a quick example of the for each loop, which is very similar, just done differently. You, some may prefer to do this. It all depends on your collection that you're using. I typed in for each, tab, tab, var. Here's where you will define your variable type. Sometimes you can, you can either put int, string. Well, in this situation, you would put string, or you could just leave it as var. Sometimes I prefer to leave it as var. But um, the next item, I'm going to change item. And I'm going to change this item to people. And then I'm going to tab over to collection and change that to famous people. So this is going to say for each people in the famous people, I want to print those people out. So for every people 
actually, let me change this to person so it makes a little bit more sense. For each person and famous people, I want that person to be printed out to the console. So I'm going to run this. And it does the exact same thing. Prince Will Smith, Donald Trump, Hillary Duff, Fred Savage, and Bugs Bunny. That's it. That's it for the repetition structures, guys. If this video was helpful, interesting, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.